Well, it's fight night here at the Epsom Downs Racecourse in Surrey tonight. The Queensbury Boxing League are back with a huge lineup of championship boxing for your entertainment. Coming up on tonight's show, we've got some of the most hotly anticipated title fights of the season, plus a very, very exciting undercard featuring a host of new signings who are looking to impress. But in tonight's main event, the one that we're looking out for is the national welterweight title showdown between challengers Alex Bellingham and Danny Stalford, who are preparing to go to war here tonight in their quest to become the new champion. Joining us at ringside, we've got the fantastic fight commentating team of Ross Minter, Steve Holdsworth, and Phil Duffel, who will be giving you their expert analysis on what fights to look out for and who they think are gonna win. So with all that and much more to come, it's time to head down to ringside to get their analysis on everything that's about to go on. Thanks, Alan. Yes, welcome ringside here at the uh, famous Epsom race course. Best turned out tonight, Ross Minter and Steve Holdsworth alongside me. Uh, Jets, lots to look forward to tonight. We're trying to mark the card a little bit, but the one that's really caught our eye, Bellingham against Stolford. Oh, mate, this is going to be one hell of a contest. Please do not turn off. This is something that everyone wants to see. You've got Alex Bellingham, the boxer, mover, slick. He, he, he will stylist, he, isn't it? The stylist, man. He will go and he will run, he will move. And then Danny Stalford come forward, short, stocky, bangs to the body, bangs to the head. It's going to be so interesting. You've seen these boys before. Of course. You know, it, it's... it's a mouth-watering contest. But, you know, the funny thing is, Ross, I, I just got this feeling, you know, I'm, you know coming from a boxing background, uh, I've been a, 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 a tall Santa boxer myself, to have six inches on your opponent yeah. is incredible. It is. You know, and he knows how to use it. He does, and, that, and that's something we've really got to, got to, you know, you sort of go towards him a little bit more. Um, Danny Sawford's been in the league he's, uh, for longer, but uh, Alex Bellingham, you know, from the amateur pedigree, he, he, he's, he's looking very tasty to be able to beat. But he's, one thing I will say, you know this as well as I do, Phil, you know, these, these, these fights are so well matched, it's so hard to pick a winner, anything could happen. Absolutely, but he's a former welterweight champ, so he should know what he's talking about. <laughs> one of them will be crowned the Queensbury welterweight champ tonight. Plenty more to look forward to as well, should be a terrific night. Second uh, welterweight title, it is Alex Bellingham against uh, Danny Stolford, and this looks terrific. Well, it? you know, the funny thing is, Phil, Danny Stolford's uh, original opponent pulled out through injury. Um, so, you know, in Bellingham, he's got something of an unknown quantity, really. Um, but one again, once again, it's one of those bouts that you just can't pick a winner. Yeah, Bellingham, class act as an amateur, but can he cut it now in the Queensbury League? This Rice High Performance Crews title contest is brought to you in association with The Daily Sport, KF Toys, Prestige Watches and Jewelry, PJ Brown Construction, Civil Engineering and Groundworks, and All or Nothing, The Mod Musical. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, your challenger for the title, Standing in the blue corner and wearing the black shorts, he weighed in officially at 10 pounds. And he's representing the Kettles Gym. Please put your hands together for Alex Bellingham! <laughs> and standing across the ring in the red corner, your second challenger for the title, also wearing black shorts, he weighed in at 10 stone and 6 pounds. He represents the Light to Box Gym. Please put your hands together for Danny Relentless Stalker. <laughs> this Queensbury National title showdown will be fought over five two-minute rounds. Your Queensbury referee in charge of the action, Mr. Ken Curtis. Well, this contest has all the makings of something very special indeed. It's little versus large, as you can see there. Alex Bellingham on the left is a stylish young boxer. Great amateur record. Now trying his luck in the Queensbury Boxing League against Danny Stalford, who's not called relentless for nothing. You can guess the way he fights. This could be a Queensbury classic. Let's hope so. Absolutely right, Phil. And I've got to say straight away that I'm a big Bellingham fan. As you so rightly said, he's uh, had a 
a very decent amateur pedigree, including a win in the Haringey Cold uh, Box Cup. So, uh, you know, he got the gold medal on that occasion, which means he knows how to box. And uh, Danny Stolfer we've seen many times, of course, but not against this kind of opponent. And the other thing is, you know, he's trained by Alan Kettle, an old friend of mine. And, you know, there's no one I'd rather have in my corner than Alan. Well, there are a few, but he's one of them. Well, he won't mention who the others are. Not an air, anyway. Five rounds, this one, of uh, National World Away Boxing, vacant version. And there's one thing for certain, Stolfer will go at a good pace all the way through this. And uh, if there's any doubts whatsoever, um, it's whether Bellingham can keep it up. This kind of matchup just shows that welterweights come in all shapes and sizes because, uh, well, 10 stone 7, Alex Bellingham, 10 stone 6, Danny Stalford, and yet Bellingham stands, uh, well, nearly 6 foot tall, and uh, Danny Stalford just about 5 and a half feet tall. As uh, Mr Bassett once said, it takes all sorts. <laughs> I like it. Well, quite obviously Bellingham is a decent boxer. Falling on his uh, former amateur experience. And he's just trying to pick off Stalford where he can here. But don't forget, of course, so the, other, the other aspect here um, is that Bellingham will be well used to boxing people um, of, of Stalford's sort of stature. And I'm not too sure that Stolfer will be quite so used to boxing men of Bellingham's stature. Well, I think we'd uh, give that opening round to Bellingham. It certainly scores highly on style marks. He's a very accomplished young boxer. Uh, Alpington in Kent, out of the Kettle's gym, as we've mentioned. Danny Stalford, though, can count on a bit of home support. Surrey man, from the uh, Like to Box gym. And he likes to land punches, but I'm not too sure he's going to be able to get too close to Alex Bellingham tonight. Remains to be seen. So Ken Curtis then lines them up for the start here of the second round. And uh, well, both lads wearing the black shorts, which I don't necessarily like to see. Um, you know, the only damage that uh, you should wear different coloured shorts still, still rings with me because of uh, my old traditions. But there you go, that's life. But uh, it's not too hard to tell these two apart. Um, Stolford, the shorter man. Thank you, Ken. <laughs> Stalford. First real moment of joy there for Stalford. Quite right, Ken. Does like to get a word in occasionally, doesn't he, Ken? Very, very good referee, though. Been in there with the best. And uh, they've got respect for him. So, so should everyone else. And all he wants to see is a decent boxing match, and really that's what these two should be serving up. That's right, and now Bellingham has got the switch to Southpaw, and he's back to Orthodox now, so making life difficult here for Stalford. Very, very quick with that little jab of his, Bellingham. He use it too often, but he just fires it out very, very quickly. Yeah, Danny Stolford's a real trial. Um, but, you know, having said that, there's no, there's no substitute for class, really, is there? 
Just looks like a natural born boxer somehow, Bellingham. I'm sure he works very hard at it in the gym, but I'm sure an awful lot of it is natural talent as well. In the... So round three it is. And uh, well, he's going to come out of Southport. Alex Bellingham leading with the right, but back to his ortho orthodox ways. Now you can tell me, Steve, having been in the ring, when somebody comes out at the start of a round with, with a, a change as obvious as that, is that the boxer or is that someone in his corner who suggested that? Generally, it's the boxer. Um, it, it's a gift, you know, if you can do it, you know, and, and it works, goodness sake, get on with it. But, uh, you know, not everyone can. Um, I certainly couldn't. So most things seem to come fairly naturally to Alex Bellingham, so we'll uh, switch in styles, no problem to him. Well, of course he knew coming into this one um, that he'd have to be on the back foot, and because uh, he knew that Stolford would, would try and walk him down. Um, so, you know, he's taken exactly the right steps. That's not right, popped over there from Bellingham. They're both fairly young, these two, so in a sense, still learning their trade a little bit. Stolford had more fights in the Queensbury Boxing League, but as we mentioned at the start, Bellingham with plenty of bouts under his uh, belt in a stellar amateur career. Stolford's best efforts just falling short at the moment. But Alex Bellingham is in danger here of costing himself a point. Um, I've got a feeling Ken Curtis is going to run under patience shortly with him. Not that I think it'll make a massive difference to the score, ultimately. Well, it goes to the score, but not the results, if you get my drift. Well, three down, and for me, three that have gone fairly similar fashion. I just give Bellingham the edge all the way through until now. Don't see that Stalford has quite done enough to knock him out of his stride. He's trying, but he just can't get within range to land any meaningful combinations. The odd punch, yes, but nothing more than that. Stolford with plenty to say for himself, though, during the interval. And uh, conversely, Bellingham listing intently in the blue corner. Here we go then, round four, the penultimate session. Danny Stolford, of course, started his career in uh, Thai boxing. And switched to the Queensbury version of, uh, of boxing. Yeah, he was quite successful, wasn't he? In the, yeah, uh, right. Here we go. Here we go. There you go. Well, tough words there from Ken Curtis, but uh, Bellingham knows to score now. Get on with it, or get out of there. And the irony is, you know, it, it, he's probably going to do him a favour. Yeah, be interesting to see if he can keep his cool. He's still a relatively young man, so maybe that sort of talking to might just... But there's an old saying as well, you know, Phil, about old manning an opponent. And you don't expect a young man to old man an opponent. Um, and that means, of course, you know, you use every trick in the book, but uh, you don't, wouldn't have expected that from Bellingham. But he has been around the game for a long time. Well, strong attack now. Yeah, Stolford looks like he's trying to capitalise on, on something. Maybe he feels that 
Bellingham will just be shaken a little bit by that good talking to from the referee, so he's looking to step on the gas here now. And as a result, you know, I've got a feeling here that Stolford is taking, like you said, full advantage and uh, might just be nicking this at, the, at this point. Is that reasonable? Yeah, best round for him so far in the contest, no doubt about that. He stopped his last two opponents, the Stalford. Oh, right, that's a point taken off Alex Bellingham for holding, and rightly so. He was warned. Well, he definitely has lost a bit of composure there, Bellingham. Feels a little aggrieved as he sits down on his stool. Just got to pull himself together again now. Can't allow that sort of thing to cost him this contest because he built up a bit of a lead. Doctor point for holding. That was certainly a better round as well for Stalford. So all of a sudden it may just be a little bit closer going into the fifth and final round. Stalford with uh, renewed optimism, it seems. Quick off his stool, he wants to get on with it. Whereas Bellingham is uh, quite happy to take every second of the 60 available between the rounds. But the irony is, Phil, you know, Bellingham has got the ability and the skill here to keep this one long and not get involved and not have to hold. Stolford, as expected, comes out, firing bullets at the start of the fifth. Still think he needs a big round here just to even try and even this one up. And Bellingham still got this terribly bad habit. Um, as I say, King Curtis hoping to knock it out of him, but uh, I don't think it's going to work. He's complaining about Stolford going in with the head there, Bellingham, so... He does feel like the world's against him all of a sudden, doesn't he? And that's not necessarily the best frame of mind to be in, is it? Absolutely, but the funny thing is, Phil, he may well have brought it on himself, you know, that's the problem. That's been a good workout for Mr Curtis, this uh, scrap as well. Just yeah, every now and then you notice he, he glances across the referee. It's a fight, you know, things get rough. And perhaps this, that's the difference he's finding from the amateur reps, you see. Yes, quite possibly. Certainly being a real swing in momentum in this fight. But the simple fact is, you know, to be a, a Harry Day Box Cup winner, means he's got quality. I'm not too sure he's showing all of that here this evening. Well, I tell you what, as a result of that point deduction, this is getting pretty tight now. There's the belt. Where will they go? Well, for me, Stolford was a long way back, maybe too far back, but as Steve Holdsworth mentioned, that points deduction, if it was three rounds one way to the other and then one point off, makes it very interesting. Well, Phil, I've just been looking at my scorecard. I've actually got it 48 points apiece as a result of the deduction. Here we go then for the official verdict. Where on earth have they gone? What has that point deduction done to the result? Has he cost himself a win? Presenting the title belt will be James Pickaway from tonight's event sponsors, PJ Pound, Civil Engineering and Grounds. Ladies and gentlemen, after five exciting rounds, we go to our judges' scorecards. To your winner, by majority decision. And new Queensbury National Welterweight Champion, Tony Rios Stolfer. Well, there you go, Alex Bellingham. Sadly for him, has cost.
cost himself the fight. Um, Danny Stolford, congratulations. I thought there was nothing in it. Um, and maybe a draw thing that may have been the right result, I don't know, although we don't want to draw in a title fight. But there you go, you know. And let's hope that Alex Bellingham never holds on again. Yeah, Bellingham clearly distraught by the verdict, but maybe it'll teach him a, a lesson. I had him still fractionally ahead, but it is Danny Stolford who certainly finished the contest on top, of which that there can be no doubt. And he is declared the champion. And I've got to say, Phil, it's a tough lesson to learn. OK, well, I'm backstage here with Alex Bellingham. He was in action against Danny Relentless Stalford a little bit earlier on in the night. Clearly a very disappointed uh, fighter, but a bit of controversy, Alex. We've looked at the scorecards again. There seems to have been a, a judging error, and it should have actually been a majority draw, but the fight was announced in, in favour of Danny Relentless Stalford. So with that in mind, you must be absolutely gutted, because I know you were very confident. You thought you won the fight. You thought you outboxed him, and the decision didn't go your way. How are you feeling? Um... I don't even know what I'm feeling at the minute. It's angry, it's upset, it's devastating, isn't it? Like, first thing, worst thing was was losing in the ring and then for it to be turned into a draw, like they've, they've scored it wrong or whatever. Yeah. It's, got, it's devastating. I thought I won it easy. Mm. I thought I won it, you know, boxing's getting hit and not get hit. He hit me twice. I learned, f f knows how, oh, sorry, I learned God knows how many shots on his face. Look at his face, look at mine. Is there a mark? No. Mm -hmm. Is there a mark on his? Yes. It's, 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 it's what it is, isn't it? It's boxing. Yeah. It's what it is. Well, Danny, we were in the ring um, not that long ago. And you were announced the winner, but controversy, some sort of uh, unforeseen events have unfolded. And as I say, we just interviewed uh, Alex Bellingham. The scorecards were, were read out wrong. It was actually a majority draw. You've been told the news. I mean, you must be gutted. Guy doesn't even do half of it. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's been hard work, it's been a hard, hard training camp done everything I can and uh, I felt like I won the fight mm. and uh, a lot of people I've talked to also say that I won the fight sure. and um, it's just disappointing it was a disappointing fight for me anyway but I know I did enough to win yeah yeah I know when we spoke uh, straight after the fight you know you the, the pressure side of thing you, you thought you'd done enough I mean the the, the Bellingham camp were you know really adamant that they had done enough to, to win that fight but it's so hard with boxing and scoring. I mean, you know, both sides have got their opinions, but where, where do you go from here? Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll look at a rematch, but some, something's got to change because um, you shouldn't be able to hold on for five rounds and then get the win. Do you know what I mean? He, he came out straight away, started holding from the first opening bell. He shouldn't be, shouldn't be allowed to do that. And it, no, no one wants to come and see boxing and see someone just hold on for five rounds. No one wants to see that. Sure. People, people want to come and see boxing. So, yeah. you know, some, something's got to change with the, with, with, with the referee and um, to make it more exciting fight. If anything, I don't care if I lose, as long as I lose in a fight, not, not just lose. Sure. Take, I didn't even get hit for the first three rounds. You know, all he did was run away and then hold. No, yeah. not, that's not the way to lose a fight. And that's not the way to win a fight either. Wow, well, once again, it was another spectacular night of big fight action here at the Epsom Downs Racecourse in Surrey. But that is all we've got time for. But join us next time out on Season 6 when we go to the grand finale on Saturday, December the 3rd, when the league moves to the K2 Arena in Crawley for Only the Brave. Thanks for watching.